Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Revision Control plugin. And the reason you want to use this plugin is to reduce the number of revisions that are stored inside of your WordPress database. Because the more revisions you have in the database, the slower your database is going to run. And every time you make a change to a page or a post, it stores it as another revision. So I'm going to give you an example. Here we are in the WordPress dashboard. If I go over to Posts, and click on all posts and I'm sure you'll be able to find posts on your site as well where you find examples of this. I'm this testing post, I added some revisions to it, so I'm going to click on edit to take a look at it. And on the right hand side in the publish box you see the revisions 12. So currently there are 12 revisions. All it takes to add a new revision is you add some text, click on update, and then this 12 is going to change to a 13. And every time you make a change, you can even just add one character, save it, and that 13 will, will become a 14. And every time you do that, that post is stored in its entirety inside your WordPress database as another version. And if you have a lot of posts on your site and you make a lot of revisions to them, your website database is going to be bloated, meaning it's going to be too big to be useful after a short while. So what we want to do is re reduce the number of revisions that are stored. And we do this using the revision control plugin. So if we have over plugins on the left and we click on add new and we search for revision control, click on enter. This first one on the top right by Dion is the one we want. Click on install now. Click on Activate Plugin. And what it does is it adds, under the Settings menu, it adds a Revision menu item. Click on that to enter the Revision Plugin settings. And by default, it allows you to store unlimited of all post types. So you will likely see posts and pages in here. You may not see Portfolio or FAQs. That's a theme-specific one for the Aveda theme on this test site. You might see different ones here, depending on what you have installed on your website. And the revision range at the bottom, I've never seen a need to change these defaults, so those can just stay as they are. But what we want to change is this unlimited number of revisions. We want to reduce that substantially. What I usually do is I keep it at three. If you make a lot of changes to your posts, you may want to keep it at more. And the reason you want to keep them is if you make a mistake or something goes wrong or something breaks, you can revert back to an older version. When I do my posts, I don't make a lot of revisions after they're posted. So by storing three revisions, I think there's a, there's a big enough safety net there to cover anything bad going wrong because I don't make any revisions after it's published anyway. But if you make a lot of revisions, like I said, you might want to store five or 10, depending how many revisions you make to that post or page. But I keep everything at three. So I'm gonna go through and change all these to three. And then click on Save Changes. And now if we go back to our test post and click on Edit, We currently still have 14 plus revisions. And actually one thing I forgot to show you, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see a list of all the revisions in this meta box here. And you click on restore. You can compare them by, by selecting the radio buttons and comparing the new revision to the old one. And if you don't see that post revisions meta box, scroll right to the top of the page and click on the screen options button and make sure that, where is it? Here, this, this one right here, post revisions. Make sure this checkbox is checked and then that meta box will appear on your page. So we've set our post to only store three revisions. However, we still see 14 plus. So what we're gonna do, all your posts will see the actual number they have until you save it again. So I just made a change to the page, I'm going to click on update, and now we should see this go down to three when it updates.
Now it goes down to three plus. What that means, we have your three revisions plus the one that's currently live. And there you have it. That's how you control the revisions for posts and pages so that you can speed up your database and make sure it doesn't get bloated. And that's as easy as it is. Just a simple plugin. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. We'll talk to you soon.